flags fly at half-mast in Eindhoven in the Netherlands, a country marking a day of national mourning. It's here that the bodies of the Dutch victims of flight MH17 are being brought, almost a week after the plane was shot down in Ukraine. It's unbelievable, says this man, totally shocking and crazy. It's hard to believe in this day and age that for no reason at all people can be shot down in a passenger plane, even if it is a war zone. This morning we started by hanging our Dutch flag at half-mast, says this man, because of course our thoughts are with the families who lost their relatives. Even as daily life goes on, the tragedy has left the country in total shock. Almost two-thirds of the crash victims were Dutch. This shopkeeper says it's a day that everyone is thinking about, including me and my family. I'm wearing a black bracelet to pay tribute to the relatives of the victims. War is closer than you think. It can be dangerous, not only going to the east of Ukraine, but also to other countries as well. Covering the story in Eindhoven is Euronews correspondent James Franey. For the relatives of the victims, so many questions remain unanswered. Just how did the plane come to crash? How long will it take to recover the missing bodies? And why was flight MH17 not diverted away from eastern Ukraine? James Franey, Euronews, Eindhoven, the Netherlands.